Breaking news today as Tawaski TJ Abrams has flipped from FSU to UF, and the Gators' 2024 recruiting class gets even better. In a move that we told you was going to happen a few videos ago, TJ Abrams is now a Gator. If you miss those, it's because you're not subscribed. So do us a favor and hit that button so we can hit our goal of 5,000 subscribers before we kick off against Utah. TJ Abrams is a 5'11", 175-pound, four-star wide receiver out of Dunbar in Fort Myers, Florida. Abrams is a very good pickup for the Gators, who only offered him back in March. So that means that UF moved really quickly. They knew they wanted him. They reached out. They put the full court press. Props to this staff for staying with him, even though he was committed to another school, a rival in FSU. He is, you guys are not going to be surprised by this, a dual sport athlete. And I feel like we talk about this in every commitment video for the 2024 class. Abrams is also a speedy track guy. We know what Napier likes about two sport athletes. We talk about it in every single video. But listen, you can't teach speed. You can't teach speed and you can't teach size. This is a guy that UF is going to be thrilled to have as part of this class. He runs the 100 meter dash and the 60 yard dash in high school. He is smoking fast. The fact that he is a dual sport athlete is going to serve him well when he joins the Gators. And listen, UF can always use the speed, right? We will take it. He is a weapon in the slot that can produce really good yardage. He averages 11.6 yards a touch, or at least he did his junior season. He racked up 677 yards of total offense. He has been called a dynamic playmaker by coaches and recruiting experts. Say that again dynamic playmaker. He's incredibly versatile. He's gotten reps as both a running back and a return man on his high school team. UF has a lot of uses for him. So let's go over this together. He is a really good route runner, something that UF desperately needs. He fights hard for the ball, as you can see if you're watching his highlights right now. He gets open a ton because he is so fast and he has such clean and crisp route running. And to top it off, he's got good hands. Listen, UF wants to continue to style or to stockpile wide receivers. This is a perfect fit for this offense. Props to Billy Gonzalez. Abrams has mentioned wanting to play for a coach that can develop him and get him into the NFL. This is the Billy Gonzalez factor. Everybody knows what Billy has done with guys like Percy Harvin. Abrams is a guy that has all the raw talent in the world, and he is looking for a coach that is going to develop him in college and then send him on to a successful NFL career. Billy Gonzalez was able to establish that relationship, sell him on that vision and, and Napier and Gonzalez's resumes and how good they are at developing that wide receiver talent and getting it into the league. Clearly, Abrams believes in them. And listen, the best part of all of this is going head to head with your rival and winning. Okay. FSU fans are not happy this week. Florida's recruiting is on fire. And then to steal one from their class, that has to hurt. Okay. This is a huge win for so many reasons. Florida needs wide receivers. It fills a need because UF wants to continue to stack that room. They did a really good job recruiting the wide receiver position last year, and they're starting to stack that, that talent in back-to-back -back classes. You see that in the 2024 class now. That is important to eventually get into those championship games, the playoff games, and beyond, right? So that is important. But when you can do it and take one off the board from your rivals, it makes it that much sweeter. Two birds, one stone. Listen, we have talked about it before, but what UF is doing on the trail is remarkable and really is the standard here, right? But look at the top 10 in recruiting right now. Almost all the teams that are anywhere in the top 10 finished with great seasons last year. UF not so much, but they are crushing things on the trail right now. That means that this staff is able to sell to these guys. Listen, look, you come into Florida, you can play early and often. There is a spot for you. You can improve our on-the-field play immediately 
there is a place for you to make an impact right now. And clearly what these coaches are saying to these guys is working. Recruits do want to go to a place where they can be developed and they want to go to a place where they can see playing time early in their careers. UF is in a position to offer them that right now. And truly the pieces that they are putting together in this 2024 class could really lay the groundwork for Napier to have a successful tenure here. There are championships in Florida's future if UF continues on this recruiting tear that they are currently on. If you want to see some of TJ Abrams' highlights, courtesy of Huddle.com, stay tuned. You want to get caught up on all things UF recruiting? Do me a favor and click right here.